8.05, we left Germany at 2 a.m. to drive down to Austria. We're gonna be here for a little less than a week for a ski vacation, but it worked out awesome because homegirl slept the entire time, pretty much. Okay, we are fully decked out in our ski gear. We are waiting for the Airbnb hostess to come and hopefully open up the doors for us. But there is just so much snow. I can't even believe it. These are like perfect conditions. So this is our room. We have a bed for us and a bed for Sophie. And we totally lucked out because we got a bathroom in our room. with a shower. When you leave our room, there are two other bedrooms, a kitchen, and a bathroom. Let me see if I can show y'all. Hello. Hello. What's up? You got the hiccups and drink mal was, weißt du? Here's the bedroom. All right, we're on our way to go pick up our board and our shoes. Sophie's gonna get her skis. So, we'll see how it goes. They're closing everything because it's too windy up here. A little bit different than we were expecting, but you know, it's very windy. Okay, so yesterday ended up being a little bit of a bust because it was so windy, so we couldn't actually really ski or snowboard at all because we went up with the gondola and then had to turn around and go right back down the gondola but today looks like it might be better it is snowing like crazy though so we're gonna head into town sophie has her first um lesson today and hopefully everything goes well and she likes it and we have a little bit better day on the slopes today but i will be taking you guys along with me and keeping you posted we're currently waiting on the bus and yeah Check this out, guys. <clears throat> so crazy. Ski school. Ski school. Did you get to drive down the hill by yourself? That's okay. That's what happens when we learn. I fall down all the time, still. Me too. Yeah, that's what happens when we're learning. Good morning, guys. Today is day three of our ski vacation here in Austria. Yesterday was an awesome day. It wasn't nearly as windy. Sophie had her first day of ski school and she actually completed all four hours. I was so surprised. Was it her favorite thing? No, probably not, but you know, she did good. Cars. So today she has one more day of ski school and we are currently waiting on the bus again. And yeah, so uh, my muscles are pretty sore from yesterday, but that's kind of to be expected. But it's not snowing as much as it was yesterday, so hopefully today uh, we'll be able to see a little bit more than yesterday. And yeah, hopefully we just have a good day on the slopes. All right, she's about to come down. I promised her that I would watch her for a little bit today before I go and take off because she is still a little bit scared. But I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek of what they do in ski school. And the best part is today, the sun is actually coming out so we're able to see some of the mountains around us. 
which we weren't able to see at all yesterday. school not so much of a success she quit after half the day but that's okay she skied a little bit with her own mama yeah. and see it's the last day of skiing it is the last day of ski school yeah and tomorrow you're gonna go with the big kids with us yeah but mommy and daddy yeah okay friends day three is over I'm exhausted. Man, skiing, snowboarding is no joke, especially with a kid. She threw up like three times on the bus ride this morning because her stomach hurt because the bus driver was driving so crazy. And it's just, it's quite the trek from where we live to get to the resort. But tomorrow we're gonna take the car instead of the bus, so hopefully we'll, we won't be so like torn for time. But yeah, day three was a success. So. But check out this view behind me. Absolutely incredible. Hopefully we'll be able to fly the drone and get some drone shots of the sunset. That would be awesome.